send in the next auditioner, please? A Mr. Fawcett, I believe it is. <laughs> <laughs> against the wind. I'm walking against the wind. Ooh, my arms are flailing about, flailing about the wind. Uh, hey, oh, oh, hey, oh, Mr. Fawcett, Mr. Fawcett. Uh, uh, um, you do realize, do you not, uh, that you're auditioning for the role of mine number three? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, of course. I'm, very I'm sorry. Yes. <clears throat> I'm climbing a rope ladder. Up and up I go, higher and higher. Ooh, I might be further go. Stop. Maybe there'll be a big giant up there who give me some beads. Stop. Higher and higher I go. Uh, Mr. Fawcett, Mr. Fawcett. <laughs> uh, Mr. Fawcett, it is in fact obvious. I'm listening to you. Good. I'm listening to you with my hand to my ear. Yes, yes. We can all in fact uh, see that you are listening to me with your hand to your ear. You telling me this is the crux of the problem. <laughs> it's not working for you. It's not working for me, no. Ah. See, my ass. Probably not what you're looking for in mine number no. three. No, not the mine. Not the mine, Jen. Yes, no. No, no. There are certain intrinsic qualities to the role of mine number three that I don't think you've shown us. Yes, at yes, all. intrinsic qualities indeed. I, I perfectly understand. Because as an artist, I feel that quiet. part of what I can do is expand the repertoire to which I can communicate. Part of that being um, not just my really? body, but also <laughs> my voice. It is one of the tools. So it is a tool I like to use beyond Will you just my voice shut to bring up about the expression you. that I feel is most important in I'm killing you with my mind! Will you please shut up? Now I find myself in the awkward position of begging a mime to allow me to speak. <laughs> now, uh, nice though your narrative skills be, okay. it's really a non-speaking mime we're after here and all that that entails. So let's mix things up a bit, right? Mix things up a bit and try the miming without the talking. I, I'm sorry, uh, uh, not speak? Mm. Oh, yes, I can. Try a non-speaking mime. Is that more closely uh, defines the parts as you need? Yes, I can absolutely do a non-speaking mime. Right. <clears throat> All right, ambitious. I'll uh, try not to talk you through it this time. We're all pulling for you in that regard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, was that not clear? I was operating an industrial extrusion press. <laughs> operating uh, an industrial extrusion press. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, uh, an industrial extrusion press. Yes. Uh, there was a crack in the extruder nodule, yeah. and the uh, uh, valve had gone into red. Terrific, yes. Actually, so that was the... Perhaps I should have explained. No, 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 no. no, no. Um, lovely glove work. Uh, wonderful speaking voice, the finest in miming, I would imagine. Uh, but don't call us, we'll call you. Could you send in the next mime on your way out? <laughs> Hanging my head, <laughs> droopy and red. My arms are dangling in the most extraordinary way. Oh, dear. oh God, please, I need this job. You don't understand. I, I need it for my confidence. Mm. You see, I've always been a mime. I was born silently into a mime family. The mime doctor in attendance pretend slapped me, and I didn't utter a word, no, not a sound, until the tragedy. You see, my father was a mime, a very famous mime, Senor Fish. He asphyxiated on stage, quite tragically in an airbox of his own construction. <laughs> he was that good. I don't know what happened. I was there watching him. 
He'd done it a thousand times. He strode confidently to the box, but this time something was wrong. He couldn't get out. All I could do was watch him pound his white glove fists on the side of the air box. But he would not scream out for help. No, such a was he. Finally, at length, two other mimes came in with their air chainsaws and tried to free him. But they couldn't. He had suggested the box too well. Meanwhile, all I could do was watch my daddy in the box as he struggled and squirmed. His white, tormented, painted face beating with sweat as he struggled and squirmed. While the other mimes frantically tried to free him with their air jaws of life. But it was no use. In the box, my father drew his last breath. And with a single tear. <laughs> <laughs> you can imagine the trauma of seeing such a thing at such a young age. The shock of it. <laughs> Struck me talking. And I've been unable to stop speaking ever since that tragic day. <laughs> oh, please. Oh, please let me let me just climb up something and, and fall down and I'll only cry out once in pain. <laughs> shine your shoe! And shine your shoe. It's a good shine. Oh, sway. That will come out, I'm sorry. All right, I'll do it in a German accent. I'm walking against the wind, and I walk into the dark, and I'm walking against the wind. Okay. Please say something. Say something. I can't stand the silence! <laughs> Down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs>